Hi everyone, I'm Kelly Longton from Kelly Longton Law, and today I'm here to talk to you about your cyber legacy and three tips for your digital assets. You see, there's an entire category of commonly overlooked legacies to consider, and that's digital assets. Don't worry if you didn't consider these assets when you made your will of trust. It's surprisingly common and luckily easy to correct. So what are your digital assets? They include your photos. Yep, all those selfies that you've taken, those are digital assets or that your grandchildren have taken of themselves. Files stored in the cloud or on your local computer. Virtual currency accounts. Social media profiles, URLs, Facebook, LinkedIn, device backups, databases, digital business documents, and because technology is ever evolving, much more will be added as the months and years go by. These assets can have real value, such as virtual currency accounts, a URL, a, or digital business assets. So you can no longer adopt a wait and see approach for these assets. Whether you proactively plan or not, your legacy now includes more than the inheritance you want to pass along your family heirlooms and general assets. You must now consider your digital assets as well. So here are three tips to get you started. The first tip is to inventory your digital assets. Make a list of every online account you use. If you run a business, don't forget spreadsheets, digital records, client files, databases, and other digital business documents. Although those should probably be part of your business succession plan. If it exists in cyberspace, connects to it or pertains to it, put it on the list for your attorney and executor. Second tip is you want to designate a cyber successor. A cyber successor is someone you trust who can access your accounts and perform business on your behalf after you are gone or in the event that you are incapacitated. Make sure they can access your accounts in a timely manner. Safeguard your list so that it doesn't end up being vulnerable to unauthorized access, identity theft, data loss, or worse. You may want to put some of your digital assets into a trust or even include specific access in a power of attorney. Consult with an estate planning attorney to determine the best way to determine your successors, trustees, and beneficiaries, and then make sure the right documents or designations are in place so access can be made when it's needed. The laws in this arena are, are ever evolving, so any planning you've done in the past probably needs an update. The worst thing you can do is nothing. This could result in the loss of digital family photo albums, disruption of your business if you're incapacitated, or worse. If this process feels daunting or if you're still not sure where or how to start, give us a call. We can help you identify, track, and protect your digital assets to give you peace of mind.